So I think I kind of am obsessed with lip products from the drugstore. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the I Heart Drugstore Makeup Tag and technically I wasn't directly tagged by anybody, but Mac Barbie 07 and Arden and Megan Hearts Makeup and all those people said that they tagged everyone. So indirectly I was tagged. So I'm just going to hop right into it and if I keep looking down, I'm very sorry. That is because my questions are down here. Oh and look at my Starbucks face. It's pretty snazzy, huh? Okay, well um anyway, the first question is what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand overall? And this was pretty hard because like of course I like like a lot of stuff from this one and then a lot of the other, but like overall I thought about it and it would have to be Revlon, which a lot of people said, but like really they have the best um, makeup and lip products and face products and lip, I already said lip products. Uh, one thing I had not tried by them was their um, mascaras, but I have tried like eyeliners and stuff like that, and those are always amazing. So overall, that would have to be my favorite. And the next question is, what are your favorite face, cheek, and lip products? So my favorite face lip pro or <laughs> my favorite favorite face product from the drugstore would have to be the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. And I did not choose a um, foundation just because my like taste and foundations usually change like every other month or something like that. But this powder has stayed with me for a while because I have not found anything better, even high end. So I am the color Creamy Natural and it's just your normal pan powder and obviously I have even hit pan but this is amazing and it actually lasts surprisingly a little bit longer than others but I do go through it a lot because it's my favorite and I don't use anything else and I probably will never. Um, but then my also, what's the other one? Oh, cheek product would be the NYX Cream Rouge yeah, Rouge Cream Blushes, and you can find these at Ulta, and I'm considering them drugstore because I think that they're going to be drugstore since they're only like 6 or $7. And I have Boho Chick, and then I also have Tickled, and Tickled is amazing. I actually have a dupe for the, or, yeah, I have a dupe for something like this later, and look how creamy that is. What I love about it is that on top, it's super creamy, but then you can definitely tell that it's gonna last long because underneath it's a little bit more like denser and so this is what this one looks like it's just a really really pretty like corally bl blush and sorry that I didn't swatch very good but that's what it looks like and the other one boho chick is just like a rose petal kind of color very light and we'll swatch that one right here that's what that one looks like and I'm gonna swatch that one one more time because I really did not get the pigmentation out of it, which it has, and, okay, there we go. So beautiful. It has, like, warm undertones, definitely, but it's, like, corally, and it's just so pretty, and I wear it year-round, which I really like about that one, because it's very versatile, and then my favorite overall lip products would have to be the Revlon Lip Butters, and I just love how creamy they are, and they're not like a stain, so they don't last that long, but they don't like, I don't know, they're not sticky to the point where you have to consider them a lip gloss, but they're just like right in the middle of the perfect lipstick and lip gloss, and I love these, and so I have them in Peach Parfait, um, which is like, here I'll show you guys the colors, that might be helpful. Um, I'm almost out of this, I like, yeah, that's as far as it goes up, but that's what it looks like. It's... I, it's definitely on the pinky side, but it's a little bit like mauve tan-ish kind of on the lips. That's what it looks like. It definitely has some like brown in there, and it's sparkly. It's definitely not matte, which I do have a matte one. And then I also have Cherry Tart, which is just like your basic bright red, but it's a little bit sheer, which makes it look kind of undertone of fuchsia kind of. And this is right... Um, there. So it's definitely a little bit more brighter. And then I have a really deep one in red velvet and I absolutely love this one. Um, oh, I'm running out of spaces to swatch. And this one is probably the most pigmented out of all of them. 
which I didn't know that they really had different pigmentation, but probably it's just because it's the darkest. And that's that one right there. I love like the plumminess of it, and it's so beautiful on the lips. And yes, yeah, so I also have one. I also have creme brulee, and I think it's lollipop, but I did not include that because these are my top three, and I did not want to bore you guys talking about the same exact product like forever, which I'm probably doing right now. Um, but the next question is, what is your least favorite product from the drugstore and this one is the Rimmel London foundation I absolutely hate this so much and I was like Tanya Burr always talks about it which maybe in England they have a different formula or something but um I got it thinking that it would be good but it really is not first of all this applicator is like plastic and it's just no not digging it and also the color changes on you throughout the day like look at this this looks like an ivory color right like a little bit different from my undertones which I tried out two different ones and this was like the one that matched me the most at first but then throughout the day it became orange and yeah I don't want my face turning orange this is not a bronzer for goodness sake um but did I even see the name of this? Uh, this is the Rimmel London Clean Finish Foundation, and supposedly, supposedly, it's supposed to make you look 100% poreless, but no, it sinks into your pores, and you're able to see every single one. Yeah. Not a fan at all. And so the next question is, what is the best makeup bargains? And I know most people are going to say Wet n Wild and Elf, which I do have those. My favorite one is um, the Blush Elf in the color... Mellow Mauve and this perfect, perfect mauve color, obviously. That's what it looks like in the pan. And this is very versatile for all skin tones, which I've noticed. And it's just matte and it's so smooth. That's what it looks like right there. Um, and I just love it so much. It's perfect for winter and uh, fall because it's a little bit like plummy, but I may continue to use it because I love it so much but sorry I am like itchy right here I don't know why um but I know they have other colors so the formula is amazing so of course I'll still use that one anyway and then also is the wet n wild lipsticks and this is in the color wine room and so pretty it's like I consider it like a tomato -y color like a really ripe one but so pigmented guys look at that how amazing is that? And I love how matte it is, too. Like, it's just a perfect matte, whiny color, kind of whiny. I mean, like, yeah, you get what I mean. Um, so this is what I was talking about. This one, I do not hear anybody talk about for the best, um, what is it? The best bargain. And that is Baby Lips, guys. Okay, so I know these are like 3 or $4, which I think for the product that you're getting, is just so amazing like high-end makes your lips so incredibly soft and the pigmentation for being a tinted lip balm is pretty well and so I have I'm not gonna like swatch these because you probably see them in every video but I have Coral Crush which is like an orangey one not really coral that much and then this one is Peach Kiss this is like probably my favorite it's like a neutral and then I have Cherry Me red sheer very sheer um this one's probably the most pigmented out of all of them, and it's Pink Punch. That's what it looks like kind of in there. And then the last one I have, or I actually have another one. It's the mint one, but I use it all up, and I did not rebuy it because it's not Christmas anymore. Um, the last one I have is Quenched, which is just a clear one. So if you want a, like just a clear, normal, non-tinted lip balm, go for the Peppermint one or Quenched. Next question is, what is your favorite underdog product? Something that gets looked over. And this would have to be my NYX blush, which I showed you guys in the beginning, which were the two cream blushes. And I don't hear many people talking about those, but those are probably my favorite blushes. Like, I use them every single day. Well, except for the ones that I, like, sometimes use other ones, but... That's like my go-to and it's in my everyday makeup bag. So I would definitely like recommend those no matter what. And nobody talks about them, which they need to be talked about because they're amazing. They're the bomb.com. Cannot believe I just said that. Um, but number six is a drugstore product that you believe is overpriced. And this is the Pixie Primer, Flawless and Poreless. And it's just like a little primer, like know every primer this one's a little bit tinted but it does not show up tinted um and this little one I believe is like $15 but the one that's like 
probably not even doubled, but a little bit bigger, is $30 at a drugstore. And you can find that at Target. I do believe that it's pretty overpriced, but I think that it's really good, a really good product. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but you should invest in this drugstore product, which usually you're not supposed to have to spend like $30 at a, on a product at the drugstore, which is a little ridiculous, but it's definitely worth it, even though it looks like you're not getting a lot of product, it'll last you forever. Um, but yeah, I really like this, but I'm going to lower the prices, seriously. Um, Next is show your best drugstore dupes, and I love showing dupes because, you know, it gives you a chance to, like, get less of no, more affordable things, but that you're getting, like, pretty much the same thing than high-end. So, um, the first one I have, which I've mentioned a lot, is this NYX blush, which is the lower end, so I'm going to show you the first one. Um, Max, and this is Far de Hooge. I don't think that they have this anymore because it is discontinued because I got it in France. Um, but what it is, is it's, like, one of their marbled blushes, which they have one just like this. I do not remember the color, but they do have this, like, exact same thing, which is just, like, a really pretty corally one. It's definitely not matte, as you can see, um, but this is so beautiful, and it is a powder, and I have a cream for a dupe, but the way that they wear and, like, the color payoff and the pigmentation and everything is pretty much the exact same, except this one has a little bit more gold, like, the shimmer of this one is a little bit more gold and this one is like a deep bronze so that's really the only difference but I absolutely love both of these so if you don't want to spend like twenty three dollars on a blush then you can go and spend six or seven on one and but both of them are amazing but you know dupes are always awesome oh and this is tickled the next blush and tickled um and the next dupe is this NYX pigment wow I'm going for NYX, uh, but the thing that I'm duping for is a color from the Naked palette, and it is Half Baked right there, and I would show you guys swatches, but if you've ever used pigments, you know that they're not easy to swatch, but this is what this one looks like. It's the NYX Ultra, Ultra Pearl Mania in the color Mink Pearl, wait, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, but they're exact dupes, literally like the exact same color. And the only difference is that this is a pigment and this isn't. But honestly, I if I wore this on one eye and this on the other, you would not know the difference at all because it's like the same thing almost. So I definitely recommend just going out and buying like this four dollar pigment than if you just want that one color but getting $50, but of course the Naked palette, I swear by it, but it's not drugstore, so I can't really, con like, include that in here, but I, I just did, so, yeah. Um, but the last que question is, drugstore product that isn't worth the hype, and this exact thing, the um, Maybelline New York Quad, I know that they, um, this exact one in Opal Lights, I don't think that was raved about as much, but I've tried like four different ones because I keep thinking it's just the one that I get, but they are not pigmented at all, and I took back my other ones because I saw them on YouTube and I'm like, okay, maybe I should just get that one. Okay, this one's not pigmented either. Maybe I should try this one, and they do not wear. You're not, you can barely even see them like, okay, you can't see them like that, but when I swatch them, like, guys, look at that. I swatched them right there. There's not even, like, a shimmer that you can see. And even the darkest one, it said that you're supposed to have to use it as a liner. No. You can't use this as a liner. It doesn't even show up. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't show up. Very disappointing. And none of them are good, sadly to say. So, yeah. Maybelline. Your eyeshadows stink. Sadly. So that concludes my drugstore tag, and I tag all of you guys to do it. So if you do this tag, just um, film it and leave it as a video response. And if you do not have a camera or anything like that, feel free to just leave a comment below letting me know all, know all the, like, your answers to these because they will also be down below. And I may try out some of your drugstore favorites. So, um, as I always say, just subscribe down. Wait, YouTube's confusing. Um, 
I think they changed it down here somewhere, so subscribe down there and leave a comment. And one more thing, I will be filming a Q&A video sometime in the um, month of March, and I need you guys to leave comments down here below on YouTube on my Instagram and Twitter, and if you do it on Instagram and Twitter, just make sure to tag, or hashtag, um, Ask Trinity, and I will make sure to answer that question in my upcoming Q&A video, which actually was, um, requested by a girl on Instagram, so I was like, I'll mention it in the video. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!